Hey everyone, this is Karthik and I'll start off with the harder part of the video, the harder part for me. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and like the videos. Also hit the bell icon. Okay, now let's start the video. So guys, this video is going to be about stress testing. Basically what happens is that many times when you are uh, participating in a competitive programming contest, you come up with a solution, especially I am talking about especially long challenges when you have a lot of time to solve problems. So for example, code shift long challenge. Let's say you are participating and you see that uh, the smaller test set is for 30 points and you come up with a solution, maybe big of n squared and it passes, you are very happy, but you know that it is not going to pass for the 100 point set. So you do some calculations, some manipulations and you come up with an big of n algorithm to basically solve the problem. You are like, okay, now I am happy this on solution is going to solve the problem. You are almost sure this will solve it. However, what happens is that one of the corner cases fails and you get zero points, of course. So what happens in these type of cases is that you go to your friends and you ask for test cases, which is against the rules. Let me tell you guys, it is completely against the rules. Please don't do that. Uh, now here is what stress testing can do and how it will help you to find those test cases and basically help you get 100 points on a problem. Given that there was an implementation bug and not a bug in your optimized logic because if there is a bug in the logic overall if your logic is incorrect probably you need to think more in that direction but if there is an implementation bug or some corner case that you missed stress testing is something that will definitely help you all you need to have is one brute force solution one optimal solution that is having some problem i'm assuming that your brute force solution is perfect and then you need a test case generator that can generate random test cases to test both your brute force and optimize solution against. So here is a template uh, that you can basically use to find out what is the corner case that your code might have missed. And make sure that you like the video of course. Uh, do I actually need to keep saying that again and again or are you guys actually doing it on your own without me saying that? Guys make sure that you subscribe to this channel and share it with friends. Hashtag challenge subscribe to Karthik. Alright. Now you have this particular template that can be used to stress test solutions. Your brute force code will go in here and you will write some brute force code that can solve for this particular test case T and return whatever is the answer. The answer might be an integer. The answer might be a vector or anything. Currently I'm assuming that the answer is an integer. Now this is your optimized solution. Your optimized code will go in here that was having some corner case issue and it will also solve for the test case T. It will return what answer it generates and then finally someone will check whether both of these result, uh, both of these test uh, solutions return the same result or not. If they did, great. If they did not, probably there is some mistake in your logic or your basically implementation and then you need to find out why for this particular test case your optimized solution fails. So let's see. Uh, let me take this example. You need to find the sum of the series A plus A plus B plus A plus 2D and there are n number of terms in this series. Let's say that I'm currently in my ninth standard. I know C plus plus because you know I went where. So given that I know C plus plus, I'll be trying to solve this problem but of course I don't know what arithmetic progressions are so I don't know the correct answer. So I wrote this code which was basically a brute force. It would iterate from first term till the nth term and add them together and return the answer here. So this was return correct answer. All right. This will return the correct answer of course. Now after a lot of thinking because I submitted my brute force and the brute force got a TLE. So I came up with an optimized solution by thinking on my own. I came up with a solution, basically an equation that could solve the same problem in big O of n, in big O of 1 instead of big O of n. So I'll be like, okay, return some, uh, return optimal but incorrect answer, right? So this returns optimal but incorrect answer, which might be incorrect, might be correct. So let's see what happens is that this particular structure test case. You need to have three things. Basically in input you will get the first term, the common difference and the number of terms. So you can have okay integer a the first term, n number of terms and d the common difference. You will be giving this to the brute force solution and the optimized solution both of them. How do you generate a test case in this particular case? You need a random number generator. This particular function generates a random number between a and b. Okay. 
so i will be like okay i need a test case so test case random test okay and then random test dot a the first term is going to be a random number oh random number between a and b or maybe 1 and let's say 10 power 6 or 10 power 7 whatever we generate a random number in this particular range for the first term similarly we can do the same for uh, the number of terms and the common difference in fact for common difference let's take it as between minus 10 power 5 and 10 power 5 or 10 power 6 right and i can return this test case once i've generated it return random test right so this is your test case generator and you could basically build this function for any of the problems that you are trying to debug now both of these will be sent this particular term, uh, test case and the solutions will be matched so you need a matcher basically something that compares these uh, void matcher or void debugger kind of some something kind of that right it's not actually your debugger but anyway you'll be like okay integer answer one equals to brute force first of all you generate your test case so test case random equal to generate test case and you generate a test case that's simple as that now you pass the same uh, test case to both your brute force as well as your optimized solution Yep, and we're done. Basically, now you have answer one and answer two. You see if the both of these match. If they do, great. So if answer one equals to answer two, that means your solution, your optimized solution will pass this test case. So you're happy about that. In that case, do nothing. If this is not true, then print the test case for which you are failing. So you'll be like, okay, see out mm, this random test case random dot a d and so on i'm not going to write right and here you can write uh, something like exit or assert something that stops your code so that you can look at okay I've, the code has found out a test case where we are failing and you can call the debug in here while true call the debugger that's it so this is something uh, this is a very easy or basic way to stress test your code when you are participating in programming contest if you guys if you guys found the video helpful in any way then make sure that you like to the video and subscribe to the channel bye wait bye bye